This is an Azalea I have. I haven't had much luck with Azaleas. They like me for a while and then they kind of kill over it. But this one's doing pretty good. But I don't know why. I don't know if y'all can see it, but why the leaves are doing like that. If any of y'all have any any reason or anything, let me know, please, in the comments. But all I'm going to do to this one is pick dead from around it and from the bottom of it. I haven't messed with this one a whole lot. Every time I get an azalea, it has locked me for a certain amount of time and then it kills over and dies. Of course, that's one of the plants I like, so I want to try to grow one, but it just sometimes doesn't seem like it's in the cards for me. All I'm doing is picking dead leaves out, picking dead leaves off. This one, I, like I say, I haven't messed with a whole lot. It's got a whole bunch of crap in here. I don't know what it is. I'll have to get my little rake and... Ooh, I thought that was a snail. Just so y'all know, no, I don't like snails. I think they're nasty. All I'm doing is picking some dead out. This has got a whole bunch of whatever that is. It almost looks like they put it on there on purpose. See, here's another leaf that... It is kind of like that other one. I don't know if y'all can see it. But I was trying to use the tweezers to show you, hoping it would be a little easier for y'all to see. And I do have long tweezers. I have some like, whatever you call these, little clipper things with the skinny nose on them. And I like the long tweezers because as you can see, you can reach down in the plant and get more dead out of it. Unless the wine's kicking in and... Then you pick up everything else but the dead leaves. There's one. There's one. There's a few. And I'm hoping that this will help the plant itself be able to get a little fuller. And make it a happier plant. It is December, but at the same time, it is Texas, and usually Texas we have fairly mild winters. But tonight it's a little bit chilly, and people up north will laugh because chilly to me is, I think it's like 43. But I am in the hoop house without a jacket. I'll just drink a little more wine and I'll be have antifreeze in me for the because the wine will make it where you don't feel the cold as bad. You use the long tweezers because you can reach in the plant and get more oops. More dead leaves. I do have me a little compost bucket here that I try to keep. I also have one that I use for trash. They're little, it's just a little sand bucket that a little kid would use. You wouldn't see a grown man playing with the bucket, but I went and bought two of them because I wanted them. And I thought, well, those people got a good laugh whenever I walked out, but that's okay. I didn't realize this had so many dead leaves in it. Or leaves, or whatever you want to call them. And just so y'all know, the other thing I do with rusty nails is I saved a old laundry a soap container. It's the laundry jug. And I rinsed it out real good, put nails in it, and then filled it full of rainwater. 
because I do use rainwater to water all the plants when I have it available. But like right now, if it don't rain soon, like in the next couple of days, I'm going to have to revert to tap water. I'm not wild about tap water on plants because it has so much crap in it. And plants don't seem to do as well with it. But I take and I put rusty nail I put nails I mean in with rainwater to hopefully get them to rust a little better and then I just water some with it. I also did the same thing with some Epsom salt. Uh, I'm going to do it with chicken poop. And the chicken poop, I just found it on Amazon. There's a leaf right there. I don't know about that one, but it was yellow, so I'm pulling it off. Try to pull the yellow, the dead. Oops, I think I got all of them. Oh, nope, there's one. But if you get tweezers, I got these from Amazon. Amazon is my marketplace for a lot of this stuff. The little figurines that was in the terrarium one, if y'all watched it, that was my first video to do. It was, I think they came from Big Lots. But I just pick up stuff basically wherever I go. I'm going to try to show y'all how I have some of the little pots and stuff that I have because part of them I find at thrift stores I get a lot of the plants that I have from Lowe's and Home Depot but I usually get them they call it I think they call it the clearance section and I call it the half dead section and I just go see stuff and pick it up and bring it home and try to nurse it back to health and a lot of times it works but sometimes it don't okay that is about all of them if y'all have a suggestion on the brown spots let me know